We'll start taking questions for JT and Nate in the front. Peter. Yeah, Nate, uh, to start, just what did you think about winning in such a high scoring style? And how did you feel your five on six play when they pulled the goalie at the end? How did you feel you guys did in that situation? Uh, good, yeah. Five on six was good. Um, you know, uh, tough, tough penalty, I guess. And mm -hmm. I think they had like two or three shots before that power play. So we're really controlling the play in the third. They got the power play, got some momentum. Um, but hats off to them, they didn't quit. But we knew they weren't going to quit. You know, we watched that Calgary series, and, Stay and in the front uh, row. they weren't they weren't quitting. So a um, lot of resilience on that team. But happy we got the win. It's a given that you don't want to give up six goals. But was that pace, the frenetic pace, and the speed of the game? Was that everything you expected, and maybe more? Yeah, uh, really, really dangerous team. Um, like I said, they they had depth. Their depth uh, was really good tonight. Obviously, those those two did their thing as well. Um, they they looked amazing as as always. But I thought their you know their depth was solid, and we had to uh, do a better job with that as well. Um, definitely have some things to clean up, but uh, happy we got the win. Go to the back row on the riser. JT, back here. JT, you had this this phenomenal game with these two goals in front of your whole family. What does it feel like to know that you had this kind of performance in front of them? And are you finally taking back the reins from your sister, as you mentioned earlier this season? Uh, I mean, I think it's just, that's a good win for us tonight. Like Nate said, um, we're going to have some stuff to clean up. Uh, a lot of guys chipped in offensively tonight, but I think we have a lot to clean up defensively. Um, if we want to, you know, win more games in the series, we, we have a bit to clean up. Go back to the front row. JT, you played on that line today with Newhook and Burakovsky. Could you just talk about the dynamic of the changes Jared made, obviously sitting out Abi Kubel and having both those guys on your wing? Yeah, I mean, it speaks to our depth. Even guys that aren't playing or um, can come in and contribute. Uh, both those guys can skate and make plays. And um, even when uh, Nick's in the lineup, um, he adds a different element of physicality. But I thought those two were good tonight. Stay in the front with Mike. There was a lot of talk going into the series, a lot of people saying that it was going to be like video game hockey and, you know, eight, six games. Are you surprised that it, it unfolded as early as it did in this series? Nate? Uh, I didn't hear what people were saying, but uh, I don't know. I, I have no idea. It's uh, obviously happy to get the win. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I don't know how to answer that. Third row on the left, Nick. Well, sort of a similar question, but during the second intermission, Wayne Gretzky said, you've got to play defense, man. That's how you win championships. Like, he was blown away by how the game went. For lack of a better question, is that easier said than done? Like, how does a game like that end up going that way? I mean, I think we can do a much better job defensively. And as we talked about before, there's lots to clean up. Um, you know, I think throughout our lineup, we could have been, a, we can be much better defensively and make it harder on on all their forwards, um, we don't we don't want to play the game that we played tonight. We want to be tighter defensively. Take a couple more for the guys, second row. Uh, Nate, we we saw Frankie come in earlier this postseason for Darcy. <laughs> How'd you feel he played tonight? Especially, I think there was that key penalty kill uh, there in the second period. He was great. That's hard. I mean, playing two two best players in the in the world, um, peppering you as soon as you come in. It was it was really impressive by Frankie. Um, he, he works his tail off every day, so I uh, wasn't surprised. Um, we trust him as well. Hopefully Kemp's is okay and we get him back, but um, it is what it is. You know, we're going to have to do our best uh, with whoever, whoever we have. Last question, fourth row in the middle. Nathan, how nice is it to actually get back to the winning ways at home today in front of the home crowd? Yeah, it's good. I mean, mm -hmm. we need four. We got one. Uh, a lot of work to do. Um, you know, I think, like Comp said, we, we would prefer to – uh, not have an 8-6 game. Um, you know, we're up 7-3. We got to you know, find a way just to get the momentum back a little bit as they push. But that's playoff hockey. There's so many momentum swings. And uh, the game is, um, you know, game of inches for sure. You know, we had, we had a ton of good looks in the third as well. We were really old playing them, I thought, before that power play midway through. And um, that's how it goes. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll learn from that. And uh, we're, we're going to keep getting experience. And um, we have to try to find the positives and all these things. Thanks, guys.
start taking questions for Kale and Pavel. Front row, Mike. Kale, if you could briefly just talk about the game in general and then specifically about the your goal and did you know that if you didn't touch the puck, did you know what was going on? Yeah, so uh, game overall. Um, I mean, it's tough when everything starts to open up like that. Obviously, we're getting scoring chances, uh, capitalizing, and then um, obviously they're doing the same. And a couple, couple unfortunate bounces on our end from a couple block shots. But um, at the end of the day, um, those those aren't like playoff games. I feel like we got to be tighter as a group, and we know that. And so, focus moves the game too. And then um, for my goal wise, I haven't even seen the replay yet. I just I knew that they were trying to get out of the zone and. Um, my instinct was to try and give them as much time as possible. So uh, I don't know if I lifted my stick away from the puck or whatnot, but um, yeah, I haven't even looked at the replay, but um, it didn't didn't feel great when they snap called that um, the challenge there. So um, yeah, I'll take a look at it, but uh, maybe lucky. Go back right near the fridge, Laz. Kale, it's a it's a, a playoff victory at the conference final, but Nate and JT didn't seem too pleased with everything. Are you guys just keeping it businesslike? Are you genuinely unhappy with the team performance despite the win? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just touched on it. I feel like we did some things well, but at the, at the end of the day, um, we gave them a lot of uh, options that we, we weren't giving up in these past two series even. Um, so it's just obviously they have a lot of skilled players and we need to mark those guys. But at the same time, I think as a group, we, we can be better defensively. And um, I mean, it's obviously tough when the game opens up, but at the end of the day, um, yeah, we move, we learn, we learn from this and then move on to game two. But um, yeah, definitely not the way you want to play games with these guys. Front middle. Pavel, did you have any inclination that there was something going on with Darcy or was that something that in the moment you found out you were suddenly going to have to come in? I think I, I had uh, like uh, one or two shifts to kind of stretch in the, in the background and uh, get ready. So it wasn't like uh, going in in the right moment, but uh, uh, I had a little bit of time to kind of stretch and trying to put my thoughts together and go on. Stay in the front row. Briefly, before my question, just to follow up on that. So did you, did like Kemper give an indication that he was going to have to come out for something and that's when you started? Uh, yeah, my, I mean, I heard, I heard from the trainer to get ready and uh, that was kind of, that was it. And then, Kale, what did you maybe learn from the, at the end of game five in St. Louis, you had the six on five, the Blues have the six on five and they score, and I know it was a bit of an unlucky bounce, but what did you maybe learn from, from that situation uh, that carried into today when you had a five on six kill against a really good, talented group of players? Yeah, I mean, I think for us defensively, um, they obviously, like you touched on, they're, they're capable of making such great plays out there. So um, it's when they start getting going, I feel like, well, your tendency as an individual is to get puck focused and then you kind of lose track of your fo your uh, task of whether it's covering the certain pass lanes. So um, for us, it's everybody needs to just trust each other. And uh, I feel like relatively we did that tonight. Obviously, there was some chaos, but we were able to subdue that a little bit. But um, yeah, overall, you just you learn from that experience in, in the last round and then um, you just try and uh, try and bring it back better. So third row on the left, Ken. Pavel, what is your process like? You know, you always hear goalies have to stay ready. What's going through your mind during the game, and how do, are you taking mental reps, or what, what is that process like for you? Uh, first of all, I'm I'm preparing for the game same way if I'm playing or if I'm not playing. Uh, that's something I've learned from my career. And uh, during the game, I'm trying to uh, follow every play, uh, trying to like you know like open the doors for the for the guys, and that kind of keeps me in the game. Yeah. Take one more on the right side. Pavel, coming in cold, Steve, how many goals were already being scored? With what sort of team and how do you work your end game to prepare for this tough game? Uh, I mean, it's obviously easier if you have a pretty pretty good lead. So I think that's, that kind of helped us for sure. And uh, uh, I didn't feel cold for like a five seconds. I was warm pretty pretty quickly. <laughs> so yeah, that, that wasn't an issue. So yeah, I mean, we, we, we all know what kind of players are in these two teams and uh, we didn't play, we didn't plan to play such a game, but uh, we take this win for sure and, and we move forward with that. Thanks for your time, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We're taking questions for coach, third row on the left, Nick. Second intermission, TNT, Wayne Gretzky, believe it or not, said, you got to play defense, man. That's how you win Stanley Cups. He was just sort of 
blown away by the way the game went. So do you agree? And why do you think the game went that way? Yeah, I totally agree. I liked our checking game for the most part. I thought we were a little unfortunate on a couple of plays. Did a nice job against the rush tonight. Kept playing in the third period. Felt like when we made mistakes, they capitalized on them, you know, so you got to obviously make less mistakes. But we did get unfortunate on a couple of goals, in my opinion. Front row, Peter. Before I ask my question, just what's the latest on uh, Darcy Kemper? Uh, he's out with an upper body injury or left the game with an upper body injury. Yeah. Day to day, longer term? Yeah, we'll see. Okay. And then um, I know plus minus can be a little misleading, but Manson, I think, was minus four tonight. What maybe was he fighting a little bit, and what did you see out of his game? Yeah, I thought he struggled a little bit tonight. wasn't his best game, obviously. I think it was the first goal that came breakaway. Bad read, got caught. Um, there was another goal that kind of kicked around the net front and found a guy open, not really his fault. You know, it is, is what it is. Sometimes you're on the ice when other guys make mistakes. Sometimes they're your own mistakes, and sometimes it's an unfortunate break. So, you know, tough night, but he'll bounce back. Front middle. Jared, can you explain the uh, thought process behind playing both Newhook and Burakovsky for the first time on that line and just the dynamic of that trio with JT? Yeah, I just want, I felt like, you know, good opportunity for those guys. They both have skill, and JT had a really good game last game. Try it out and see how they play. Thought Newhook had a really good night. JT scored two again. And Berkey was pretty good. Big block, and. You know, obviously has to leave the game for a little bit. That's one of the unfortunate ones. Like we got a guy laying on the boards. You know, it's you're shorthanded kind of thing, and 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 they and then they get a bounce off the side of the net too, kicks right to their net front guy. So it happens. You know, they earn some of their breaks. Some of them we got to be better with the puck. And but like the way we checked early, to be honest with you, you know, they made some plays, but we made some mistakes. Stay in the front, Mike. McCarr's goal, obviously, they're late in the second is a big one because. That was basically the difference. Um, was it the first period? Um, how did you see that go down? And was it Kale's instincts not to touch the puck inside the zone? He kind of mentioned that. but uh, And, and how, how often have you seen that play? Well, you see it a lot, the tag up rule. I mean, you see it a lot. We saw it in playoffs a couple of years ago against San Jose, but it happens during the regular season quite a bit. Maybe not quite as tight as that. Um, I just saw Kale step up, great gap. He's able to like smother the play coming out of their zone, and then he, he got the puck he wanted, and he jumped by it and went on the attack. Whether he touched, didn't touch it on purpose or not, I have no idea. I'd have to ask him. Certainly something that he's capable of doing. Val does a nice job hustling out before he touches it, and obviously a great shot. Again, given you don't want to give up six goals, we understand that. But was that pace, the style, the frenetic nature of that game – well, you expected and more, and is there a helplessness as you're watch, watching it? No, I didn't feel helpless at all. I thought our guys did a nice job getting above pucks, shutting down the rush. It's the pace we expected, no questions. The fast, fastest team that we played against, um, obviously a lot of talent. Um, there's areas of our checking game that I really like. There's a couple other ones that I didn't that we'll look at and talk about. And, um but no helpless feeling from me there. I thought we were doing a nice job on the offensive side of things, even in the third period when we have two breakaways, another great seam pass to, to Val that we missed on. Like we were generating, we we're shooting the puck, we kept staying assertive. You know, got to make a few less mistakes on the other side of it. Third row on the left, Ken. Jared, I never want to lose your number one guy, but what does it mean to have a guy like Pavel who has had to carry the mail before? And what do you like about his demeanor? Well, I mean, great demeanor, right? Calm, cool, collected guy, great teammate. Guys love playing in front of him. He came, had to come in in the, the Nashville series, did a great job for us. He's been staying ready, putting in the work with UC, our goalie coach, and um, trying to stay sharp and crisp. And he's in tune in all the meetings and asking the right questions. You know, I, I have a lot of faith in him. So does our team. So having a guy like that's obviously key. You see through the playoffs how many teams are on to their second goal and some teams third and trying to survive. You got to have capable goaltending from more than one guy, and we have it. Take two more for coach on the right side, Frankie. Uh, Jared, considering the, the talent of both teams, at what point a lead that seemed comfortable becomes uncomfortable? And how do you deal to make sure that there's no panic coming on the bench? 
well, we've talked about this a lot, you know, we keep continue to play our game and stay assertive and, and, and play to our identity, regardless of time and score. We know safe is death. And we, we got a hard lesson on that in the St. Louis series. Hadn't seen it for a while from our team popped up in the St. Louis series. We regrouped for the final game and did a nice job again of playing, um, we had leads in that series and, and played really well in the third period, kept playing our game to create scoring chances, did a nice job suppressing chances. I thought we did a decent job tonight, not quite good enough against a team like the Oilers, but just, you know, I think it's a mental toughness and a belief that, that, and that our team can win and that we just got to keep playing until the buzzer. And um, Tonight we did that. Last question, front left. I think you've you've mentioned at points throughout the year that you like the way uh, the chemistry that Naz and Miko have together. I guess what do you see out of them, and just how important do you think Miko's goal was to maybe get him going a little? See, well, I mean, and Miko's playing hard. He had a nice night, you know. Even the Kadri goal, great play on the power play, feed it in on the backhand. Like he was all over the puck tonight. Uh, did a nice job, but go, pucks going in for skilled guys and scorers it gives you confidence, you know. So it helps. Um, but with we, with Mac out of the lineup times this year, I mean, we've seen those guys play real well together. It's an important line because, you know, uh, McKinnon and, and McDavid, you know, going head to head and then you got to try and win all your other matchups, you know, and, and, and that's a good line with Naz and Miko on. It's an offensive line. Lucky, you know, great play to send Naz in tonight on the breakaway. Does a nice job defending it and then has the wherewithal to feed it into the middle to Naz flying through there. Like they were doing some good things. Thanks, Coach. Yep, thank you.